Hey there, Teddy Rubskin here, and today we're talking about the worst movies of the year, right? Oh yeah, the, the, the absolute garbage of 2017. Uh, but, uh, actually, actually, before we talk about the absolute worst movies, movies that actually got the worst reviews of the year, we gotta talk about the movies that just nobody gave a fuck about, right? Actually, there's enough movies that nobody cared about to make a fucking top ten. The top ten movies that nobody gave a fuck about this year. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Starting with number ten, Monster Trucks. <laughs> yeah, a movie about fucking trucks that are monsters. Right? It's so fucking stupid, and nobody gave a fuck about it. I mean, the fact is that some people actually like monster trucks, like real monster trucks, right? But fucking these monster trucks that have monsters inside them, shit, fuck, nobody gave a fuck about that. <laughs> Number nine is Jigsaw. Yeah, nobody gave two shits about fucking Jigsaw, which is like the reboot, prequel, sequel... Th thing for the for the Saw series, right? How many fucking Saw movies do they fucking make? Now they want to fucking reboot it with Jigsaw? Yeah, nobody gave a flying fuck about Jigsaw. No, that's not creepy at all. Number eight is Rings. Yeah, like the re re reboot, re re remake of, of The Ring. You guys remember The Ring? <laughs> Yeah, well, well, this is rings, like multiple rings. There's more than one. Oh, yeah, and, and nobody cares. There's this video that kills you seven days after you watch it. Number seven is Leatherface. Yeah, they, they, they say, like, I, I guess it's a prequel to the fucking Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Or, I mean, is this a prequel to 2013's Texas Chainsaw 3D, or, or is this going back to the original from the fucking 70s? I don't know, and I don't care, and apparently nobody else did either. <laughs> fuck the Texas Chainsaw shit, or, or whatever the fuck they're trying to do with it. Fuck this movie. Number six is Amityville, The Awakening. Yet another fucking Amityville that nobody fucking cared about. Fucking haunted house about some shit. No, nobody fucking cared. Nobody cared. Just, just fuck the Amityville series. Just stop fucking making Amityville movies. Because nobody cares. <laughs> Number five is Fifty Shades Darker. Right? The follow-up to Fifty Shades of Grey, which... You know, is that movie based on a book. Actually, a series of books. Right? They're, they're, everybody's supposed to love it. It's supposed to be a big, huge hit. But uh, Fifty Shades of Grey was like, meh, who cares? And even more meh about the fucking Fifty Shades Darker, right? And what's really weird is even though nobody fucking cared about Fifty Shades Darker, they're still going to continue with this fucking book series and make another fucking movie with Fifty Shades of Who Gives a Fucking Shit. Nobody. Nobody fucking cares. Number four is the Smurfs, the Lost Village. Shit, this is the, the fucking third Smurfs movie that they tried to put out that nobody gave a fuck about, you know? I mean, no, nobody cared about the first Smurfs movie, who gives a fucking shit? And then they made a fucking sequel, Smurfs 2, that even fewer people gave a fuck about. And this is the third fucking Smurfs movie about a lost fucking village that nobody cares. Nobody's asking for these fucking Smurfs movies. Why are you making fucking so many Smurfs movies? Stop making Smurfs movies. Because no one gives a shit. Really freaking out, you guys! Smurfs, the lost village. Number three is Flatliners. Fuck. Fucking remake of a fucking Kevin Bacon movie about medical students who, like, f fuck with life and death and shit. It's fucking stupid. <laughs> And the remake starring Ellen Page, the flattest flatliner of them all. <laughs> yeah, she's so fucking flat. Yeah, she's the perfect flatliner. What? what why? What, 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 no, nobody cares. Nobody gives a flying fuck. Nobody's asking for this. Why does this even exist? This was my fault. <laughs> Number two 
number two is Triple X, the return of Xander Cage. Or as most people have said, the return of who? Who the fuck is Xander Cage? <laughs> well, that's the name of Vin Diesel's character in, in, in tri Triple X. Remember that fucking movie? Triple X, the more extreme version of James Bond. <laughs> it's one of those movies that kickstarted Vin Diesel's career, but really nobody fucking remembers the fucking Triple X movie. Seriously? And zero fucks were given when he fucking... Vin Diesel comes back to do Triple X again. Oh, yeah, no one gives a shit. But the number one movie that no one gave a fuck about in 2017, it's actually a tie. A tie for a fucking Underworld 5 and Resident Evil 6. It's like, shit, can we stop fucking making these movies already? Because no one gives a fuck. No one gave a fuck that Mila Jovovich was back to fucking shoot and kick more fucking zombies. And no one gave a fuck that fucking Kate Beckinsale was back to fucking kick and shoot more fucking vampires. Or, or, or werewolves, or whatever the fuck. No one cares. No one fucking cares. They, they, what, underworld blood wars. No one cares about this war of blood anymore. I mean, come on. You gotta, you gotta stop making these movies. And, and, and Resident Evil, the final chapter. I certainly fucking hope it is. Hope they fucking stop making these fucking Resident Evil movies, but they're probably not. They're probably going to make more fucking Resident Evil movies. I mean, shit. <laughs> you know what the weird thing is? These movies didn't really get, like, the worst reviews. Most of the reviews were just like, meh, we, whatever, right? In fact, Resident Evil, the final chapter, actually has a score right now on the internet about 35%, which is pretty bad, but... <laughs> Is not the worst. In fact, the, the other Resident Evil movies have lower scores than that. A, a lot. In fact, the original Resident Evil is at 33% or so. Right? Yeah. 33%. Which actually means that people like Resident Evil The Final Chapter a little bit more than the original Resident Evil. Isn't that fucking crazy? <laughs> yeah. I mean, these chicks have literally done this, like, about a dozen times. About a dozen times! We like, six times for Mila Jovovich and five times for Kate Beckinsale. Well, I, I know it's actually four times for Kate Beckinsale, because she wasn't in the fucking third movie. That was a prequel or some shit. But what wait, wait, wait. Stop fucking making these fucking movies, because nobody gives a flying fuck. Shit. Anyway, next fucking time... We're going to talk about the worst movies of the fucking year. The movies that were getting the worst fucking reviews. Yeah, the bottom of the barrel. Right. <laughs> Until fucking then, keep it fucking real.